Now, am I 100% sure that whatever I do here is going to fix the entire problem? No, I'm not. But I do know that every once in a while, water leaks out of that and squirts out. And I'm thinking maybe when it's filling up the ice, maybe it does that and it puddles up enough. And then eventually it comes out of the front of the, of the refrigerator. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. So, because this, this material here only cost me, the couplings were like $3 and some odd cents each. That little coupling. So I had to buy two couplings. And I had to buy two of these little couplings here. And this little piece of pipe. So for less than 10 bucks, I know I've got to at least fix that. And if it's something more than that, I'm going to have to call the appliance guy. Okay, well he was pointing right up in here and it looks like there's a little crack there, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to I'm going to cut it down here. I've just got some some electrical cutters. Let's see what happens here when I cut this. Yeah, actually, it looks like there's some water, right? Wow. Might have to look at that again. I think there's... Yeah, I think it's right there. And some water might come out of this because I turned it on and I turned it back off. We'll see. Okay, so much for that. Got that cut off. And now I'll have to take probably take some pliers or something and just kind of push this back together a little bit. Where are my pliers at? Let's grab me the pliers. I don't do this very often at all, but I thought I would try it. Okay, now I'm going to push this on and I want to make sure it seats in there and it feels like it did. Okay, so far so good. Now see if I knew exactly where that leak was, I could have cut just a little piece out and put it back in there, see? And man, I could almost do that, but I'm just afraid it might be up here. So I'm going to cut a little section of pipe and hold it up here figure out about how high I want to go. I'm just going to go up like yay high. Okay. Cut that off. I can have this for next time. See, here's that little piece I put on there. I'm just going to push on there and pull that off. Okay, now I can take this and push it in there. Make sure I'm in there tight. If you got a question, you can pull it back out. Push it back in. I guess it's going plenty. There it is. Okay, it's in. Okay, and because I have a little bit of a slop, I don't have to make this 100% perfect, but I want to put this in here now. Hold that up. Push that back in like that. I'm going to hold that up there. And it says about three quarters of an inch. I marked it. You can mark that with a pencil and then you can pull it back out and measure it. And I did that. It was about three quarters of an inch. So I can hold that and see I've got a little bit of a slop. So I want to come down a little bit and then about three quarters of an inch. That's almost to the middle of this little coupling. If I cut it right there, I should be fine. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Just going to kind of clean that up. Push this in. And if I think it's just a hair too long, you know, if I push this down in there, that, that looks fine. If I thought it was just a hair too long, I could, I could push that in. The coupling, pull it out, snip a little bit of that off, and try it again. In fact, let's just... Let's just do it. I'm, I'm only going to cut it about an eighth of an inch. Okay. I'm going to 
to push this back on there, make sure it seats. Looks pretty good there. Let's see if I had some tape, I could put some tape back across there or whatever. You know, when you push it up against the wall, it should be fine. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm going to turn the water back on now and see if that's going to be okay.